welcome back to International Scale Modeler, I'm Lee. Uh, today we're going to do a quick review of uh, another Mr Hobby tool, it's the uh, Mr Paint Station. Uh, now I know Paul has used these for quite a while, um, never done a review on them, so I ordered some the other day from Robertini, so I thought I'll tell you what, I'll do a quick review, it's going to be a very quick one I'm sure. So uh, as, as you can see I haven't opened these yet, so I'm going to have a quick a quick opening. The packaging is just a bag, nothing written on it whatsoever in English anyway. Um, let's have a look and see what we've got. Now we've got four of these base stages. Now these are basically uh, to supplement uh, you would normally what you would normally have uh, in your uh, in polystyrene. At the moment, I have uh, this this polystyrene and this polystyrene. Trouble is, um, it leaves bits all over the place, is very handy, very cheap, very easy to get hold of, obviously. This stuff's not so easy to get hold of. I love this stuff much better. It's just a lot more solid block. It's, I don't know, it's, it's like a foamy sort of thing. It's not polystyrene. So that's what I've got at the moment. Saw these, um, I'm a bit of a neat freak, so I do like stuff to be neat on my desk. And I saw Paul use these, he uses these quite often, so I thought, well, I'll give them a whirl then. And looking at them, it is basically, as you can see on the overhead there, it is basically just uh, cardboard inside cardboard. <laughs> um, and that, that's pretty much it. Um, now, it's a, it's a neat little idea. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, on the back, uh, you've got this full pack. Um, on the back, you've got some instructions on how to use them, obviously all in Japanese and everything. Uh, now, if I remember right, you can buy, um, it's not on the back of these bags here, you won't be able to see this because it's, it's all uh, the boxes behind them, but you can buy sticks from Mr. Hobby, um, number GT46P, um, that you can shape and change, and then you can buy, um, actually, let's get this in there, you can see it then, there you go, as you can see here, uh, looks like you can buy, this is sticky pads, okay, that you can add to the end uh, of the, these little sticks, you can get GT46, uh, GT46P is the pad, um, and then you've got these sticks with these little ends on the top, and then you've got another kit here as well. Now, um, they didn't have these on the site when I bought it, I will get these as well, because obviously they're made to, to fit inside this, uh, you know, uh, corrugated uh, effect here. Uh, all I have at the moment is um, uh, toothpicks, and uh, to have a look at the toothpicks, see the toothpicks still working there, they don't wobble about, I mean at the end of the day you don't want them too tight anyway, uh, but you can get quite a few stuff in there, as you can see, you know, it's loose but you don't need it too tight. Um, now, a lot of people use these to spray on, you know, spray direct on it. I don't, I always pick up my stuff, it's the reason why they're on toothpicks is so I can pick them up and spray around it and, and move it in my fingers like so. Um, but uh, I think these were, again, very cheap from Robertini's, uh, less than 10 euros, I think they were about six or seven euros, something silly like that. Uh, now I know Paul, Paul's had his for quite a while now, um, and he's still on his first batch. But the good thing is, um, where they're modular, um, you haven't got one great big strip of polystyrene which I have to carry around everywhere, because little strips of this is just pointless. Um, but you can move these bits and add them in little sections, I'll do those bits first and those bits first and everything. So I like the idea of it being modular. Um, and it is only, at the end of the day, it is only uh, cardboard inside a cardboard box, so it's just this corrugated thing. Um, it's all one piece, so obviously they've made some big cardboard boxes and just made them into these. So, uh, but they are reasonably cheap. Again, on the back of each box, you've got some instructions there, um, spraying it, moving it from one box to another, and obviously some of the things you can get uh, for it. All in obviously Japanese, so it's not completely un un unfathomable to myself. Uh, but um, I'll say that's a little recommend for the cost of them. If you like to, if you're a Mr. Neat like me. Um, and you like things uh, to look proper and everything while you desk. I like a nice tidy workspace, uh, then these are for you. That's a recommend from me. So uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.